Hello everybody, today we'll show you the process of installing the Mansi Speed EFI kit. We are going to start by removing the pulley in order to install the crank sensor. In order to do that we have to clean all the sealing surfaces and then we have to install some sealant between the sensor bracket and the block and between the sensor bracket and the nuts. After doing this we can tighten them down according to the correct torque spec, which is written down on the manual. And after that, we can continue to the next part, which is adjusting the crank sensor. As you can see, you can move the crank sensor around by loosening the M6 nut. Then you want to make it look like that. You can also find this picture on the manual from Mansi Speed, of course. So choose whatever you like. What's also important is that the gap between the trigger gear and the sensor is smaller than one millimeter, but you also don't want the components to touch each other. So what you want to do is you want to use a feeler for example one tenth of a millimeter in order to make sure that it doesn't touch and that the gap isn't too big afterwards you will need to remove your intake manifold in order to replace the throttle body and in order to replace the intake plenum depends on which version of the mansi speed efi you got and then you need to retorque it of course the intake manifold is held on by two nuts and they need to be tightened to spec of course and you also need to add sealant to, to all contacting surfaces of the nuts. This has to be done in order to assure that there won't be any oil leaks. Now I'm going to install the wiring harness on the engine. I'm going to start by plugging in the sensor from the intake plenum. After that, I'm going to plug in the throttle position sensor. It's also important to note that you need to push and pull the connectors in order to assure that they have been installed properly. After that, I'm going to connect the injectors. You want to note the numbers on the connectors because they need to be on the correct cylinder. After that, I'm going to install the crank sensor. Then I'm going to install the TEM2 sensor, which is on the thermostat housing. And last but not least, I'm going to install the remaining injector connectors. As I mentioned previously, you need to note the numbers on the connectors of the injectors because they correspond to the number of the cylinder. For example, if there's a one on them or on the connector, you want to put it on the first cylinder. The same thing applies to the ignition coils too. After that, I want to thank my viewer, which sent me these nice goodies, which protects the paint of my van. And the other bowl also helps me Keep track of my nuts and bolts so they don't fly around. Thank you a lot. After installing these goodies, we can continue with the installation. After that, I'm going to tidy up the loom and I'm going to start connecting the EFI to the car itself. So the first plug would be the power supply to the relay box. The next plug would be the power supply from the ignition to the ECU which activates the relays in the box. After that, I'm going to connect the ground. It's important to clean it and to coat it with a little bit of grease. Now I'm going to connect the idle control valve. Afterwards, I will connect the fuel pump via this cable. I would like to add that you need to run the cable to the fuel pump if your van wasn't equipped with fuel injection previously. And the fuel pump box also need some modifications which are shown in the manual for Mansi Speed. After installing the ignition coil amplifier, we are going to install the ignition coils. And it's pretty much straightforward. You will need to add some caps to the spark plugs and then you will just push them on and then you will bolt them on. 
that's pretty much it. You also have to take a look at the numbers on the plugs. You want the numbers of the connectors to correspond to the number of the cylinder you install it to, of course, or you will have misfires. And the last thing you want to do is check all the connectors you have installed. So do some quality checks in order to assure that everything has been installed properly. And after that, you will install the Lambda sensor plug and the air filter box. And that's pretty much it. So now you can go ahead and calibrate the sensors of the EFI. In order to calibrate the throttle position sensor, go to tools, calibrate TPS, and then you want to do the following thing. You want to leave it on idle and go to set current of the upper one, and then go to full throttle and set current at the lower one. So you basically show the TPS where it's fully open and where it's fully closed so the CPU can um, do its calculations correctly. After that, go to accept and you will see that the needle doesn't wiggle anymore. After that, go to tools, calibrate thermostat tables, coolant temperature sensor, select this one and press on right on controller. Then go again on tools, calibrate thermostat tables, go to the air temperature sensor, and then you will select this one and press on right on controller. Afterwards, you will go to calibrate AFR and you will select this one and click on right on controller and you're pretty much finished. So now you will be able to start your van and if everything has been installed properly, it will run beautifully. I would also like to add that this isn't exactly a step-by-step -step tutorial. It shows you the majority of the work that has to be done. There are also a few other jobs you need to do in order to install this kit, which are very well documented on the instructions from Mansi Speed. This is why I haven't mentioned anything of that. Uh, if you just read through the instructions, you will figure everything out. I also got a test drive video with this EFI kit and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed. And it's a pretty good upgrade in order to increase power reliability and the fuel economy, of course. Anyways, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And if you want to support me somehow, you can just send me a DM on Instagram or buy something from my wish list. I do appreciate every gift. I would also like to add that I'm sorry for the sound quality, but I had to edit this video from my smartphone because I had some software issues with my personal computer. I've solved them now, but it didn't allow me to edit this particular video on the PC. So the next videos will be better, of course. Have a great day. Bye.